Now, sculpture is usually cast to honor the dead, but a Ghanaian sculpture, Deborah Texan, is leading a revolution on casting the living to help keep their memories as well. Adwado Biogusu spent time with her and has come through with the following report. Sculpture is an art passed down from ancient times. Ancient cultures carved visages out of stone and wood and even clay. In Ghana, sculptures of late former presidents Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and John Evans at Mills and military officer the late Major Maxwell Mahama were erected after their death as a way of keeping their memories. These works seek to honor individuals who left a legacy and preserved the country's customs, traditions and history for generational reference. But there have been instances where some sculptors have gotten it wrong. In May, a statue of the Asantehine Otun Forsaitu II was erected at the redeveloped Kejetia Market in Kumasi in the Ashanti region but was met with mixed reactions by its semblance. The statue really doesn't uh, resemble our king. Um, looking at um, several uh, statues we've seen in the country, uh, for instance, in Kuma's own, you, when you see it, you could really see that this is in Kuma. Uh, from a point of view, the pictures of Utuin Four that I've seen in town and the statue I'm seeing now, there is no much difference in it. Earlier in January, a sculpture of Shatawale surfaced, exaggerating the artist's features. It became one of mockery as people felt the work was not a true representation. Memories, they say, last forever, but there are some that are destined to fade. Deborah Texan here is using sculpture to help keep the memories of loved ones. Today, I am here to find out how she's able to do this. Deborah Texan has been sculpting for six months. She tells me her love for the arts and her creative nature is what endeared her to the arts. I had a passion of art, but I didn't really pay attention to it. And I came across um, a video of this art, looked at it very well, and I casted my mind back to some years ago when I used to play with my grandpa's hands, how his veins were. And looking at this, I was like, okay, if I had the opportunity to have a cast of my grandpa, I would still have a little bit of him. She says she's able to recreate baby bumps, family casts, and even pets. On our visit, we met two friends, Daniel, a businessman, and Abbas, a footballer based in Italy. Their visit was to request Deborah to make a cast of their hand as a way of relishing their time together and their friendship. Now that he is not also with me there, every time I see it, at least it will give me some, some memory. It's like, let me say, brotherhood. yeah, brotherhood. Um, actually, it's like I'm having a little bit of himself with me. Yeah, it reminds me of his um, real bond, as in real, he's a real brother. Deborah says she would want to pass the job on to her children as a legacy. It's like I'm recreating another human. That's the feeling. Do you understand? I enjoy it, so I'm going to do it for life. I can probably pass it on when I'm no more. Maybe my kids can take over. So, while people are telling fond memories of their loved ones with pictures, Deborah is recreating these memories with images. Here, I have my own lips posed in a kiss right here with me. And this is something I can always leave with a loved one as a memory. Ajwa Adibia Ozu, TV3 News, Accra. Yes, I'm wondering which parts of your body would want to start. I was going to ask you the same <laughs> question. <laughs> I'm amazed. I mean, <laughs> I think this is. Adobia decided to sculpt her lips. I would yes. sculpt my. My hand, yeah, my palm, as in the back of the, my hand. The back yeah. of your hand? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't thought about mine yet. So okay, I'm maybe you think about it and tell us later. <laughs> right. <laughs>